Welcome to the channel if you're new here. Welcome back if you're not. It is shot by Kurt. Today's video, a few reasons why I feel like I've outgrown the Canon R5 for the type of work that I do right now. So the first and one of the main reasons why I feel like I've outgrown the Canon R5 is the record limit. Now this is something that has plagued the camera since it came out, unfortunately. R5 is a great camera and could be even better if it didn't have a record limit. Now when it first dropped, it had the overheating issues and just over time they've done a lot of different firmware updates and different things to make it better in terms of not overheating, but they never were able to just remove the record limit as they made the camera better on that front. And unfortunately, I'm shooting events, I'm shooting podcasts, and not everybody, you know, one of the podcasts that I shoot, I made it clear that the 30 minute record limit is there. So either we'll do like a two part sort of situation or just try to keep the podcast under the 30 minutes, which I mean, if you're having a great conversation about whatever the topic is, you don't want to have to think in the back of your mind about stopping your conversation because the camera has a 30 minute record limit. Also, you don't want to as the videographer, you don't want to just let the conversation run knowing that there's a 30 minute record limit and then try to hurry up and like switch back or, you know, get the camera to go back to recording. Just all in all, it was a headache. So that's one of the main reasons why I had to get away from this Canon R5. So another thing is the battery life. Now you can probably get about two hours tops in my case anyway and even that's a stretch because i shoot a lot of 4k and most of the time it's even 4k or 8k down sample to 4k so that burns through batteries really quick and in that case i could probably get close to or a little bit over an hour if i shoot just the line skip 4k which is just the regular then i can get like that hour and a half two hours but and you would ask like why would you shoot down sample 8k but i mean like why buy a camera spend four thousand dollars and it has the capabilities to shoot higher quality where in post you get the flexibility to punch in and do all of these different things and not take advantage of it but i when i shoot events i just shoot the line skip and even then when I shoot that same for um third when I shoot within the 30 minute record limit I still end up with like three maybe even two bars and then I have to like swap the battery because I don't want to run the risk of the battery dying before the 30 minute record limit on the next shoot or the next part of the shoot especially if I'm shooting an event it's a 30 minute 45 minute hour speech or it's just a long event and I can't keep up I'm burning through batteries yeah, so battery life is definitely another issue that I've had with the Canon R5. Now, personally, I don't plan on getting rid of my R5 because I love my R5, but I did need to make a change and an upgrade to my kit just so I can make sure that I'm better suited to help out my clients and be able to deliver the things that they need and just more so have the continuity of not having to break up edits, stop conversations, and all of these different things that have been hindering me as of late. So, with all that being said, like and subscribe for the good vibes.